Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to cover the most recent huge upgrades to Gemini CLI that makes it more useful and smarter. So, just a few days ago, the Google DeepMind team just released a new upgrade to the Gemini CLI, making it one of the best command line tools that's out there while still offering free access to state-of-the-art models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash. Now, if you aren't familiar, Gemini CLI is a powerful command line interface that lets developers interact directly with Gemini models like Gemini 2.5 Pro for coding, automation, debugging, or run AI-assisted workflows. It's completely free to use, up to 1,000 requests per day, which makes it one of the most accessible and capable AI command line tools available today. Recently, the Google team have been hard at work improving the tool, adding nice features like custom slash commands, native div in VS Code, and GitHub Actions. And now, they are introducing one more nice feature, which is called the Gemini CLI extension. This is a brand new framework that allows you to fully customize Gemini CLI and connect it to the tools you use most, all from the command line. This means no more context switching between apps or services, as you can now bring those tools directly into your workflow. You can now bring your entire workflow into Gemini and use your go-to tools seamlessly with the same terminal environment. You simply use the Gemini extension install command and then add your GitHub URL or local path to your command line and you can install any extension from Gemini's open ecosystem. And this open ecosystem contains the top tier integrations from all kinds of popular platforms, from payment provider like Stripe and Shopify, to database like PostgreSQL, and all-in-one app platform like Firebase. You have a lot of different extensions that you can work with and install in Gemini CLI. At its core, the Gemini CLI extension is designed to be open, inclusive, and easy to access. Each extension bundles together MCPs, context files, as well as custom commands into a lightweight package that instructs Gemini how to use any tool from local scripts to external APIs. You can install extensions directly from any GitHub URL or local folder and you can use extensions to instantly supercharge your CLI experience. It's also easy to manage extensions, such as installing and deleting it, so you can keep your setup clean and flexible. You also have the ability to build your own Gemini CLI extension, where you can start with a pre-built template for common use cases, or create one from scratch for complete customization. There is also an official list of public repositories created by third-party developers with different capabilities, and you can access these extensions from the Gemini CLI extension store. You can simply install any of these extensions to enhance the CLI capability. Uh, for example, there is the Nano Banana extension, so you can click on it, and you will be directed to the GitHub repository where you can learn about the extension in more detail. You can then get the installation command here and install it to the Gemini CLI. After installing this Nano Banana extension, you can basically generate any sort of images directly from Gemini CLI. In this demo, the user is asking for a logo for the shoe company called Kix, and after a while, we can see the generated images as follows, so it's pretty cool what the extensions can do. Now before we jump into the exciting part, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss any of the videos that can really help you level up your skills. Also, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thanks again for supporting the channel, you really help me make useful videos just like this one. And next, here is a quick demo where the Gemini CLI has integrated the Postman extension. You can instantly scaffold a request collection for your application right from the command line with this integration. This streamlines API testing and development like never before as you can directly access all these things within your terminal, which is going to speed up the process of any task. Now, you might remember that Google also introduced custom slash commands in the Gemini CLI. If you need a quick refresher, I covered that in one of my previous videos. But basically, it's a feature that lets developers define reusable prompts, perfect for streamlining repetitive interactions, and making your workflow a lot more efficient. Since that update, Google has continued to improve how these custom slash commands work, making it possible to do almost anything related to productivity. These commands are now also integrated with extensions, so when you install an extension, you automatically get a set of custom slash commands that lets you trigger its features directly. You don't have to write your own prompt, you just provide the arguments required by the command and you're good to go. The setup ensures that extensions behave as intended while also boosting speed, consistency, and overall productivity. 
With this new custom slash comments, you can guide Gemini agents to follow your rules more precisely and use tools the right way. This is quite a big deal since Gemini sometimes struggles to stay consistent with tool calling, so this update helps address that. By the way, Google also created a dedicated documentation page for Gemini CLI now, which is where you can find explanations for every feature the tool currently offers. So if you're interested in getting started with a CLI, you can read through the docs, which will give you a better understanding as to how you can get started and how you can use its features to the maximum efficiency. And there is a lot of different smaller changes that have been introduced. Uh, so in this change log, which showcases all the bug fixes, all the minor edits that they have been implemented over the last couple of weeks. So you can see how much they have been refining the Gemini CLI to make it one of the best terminal agents available. Now, if you want to get started with this Gemini CLI, it's super simple as you can install it completely for free. Just head to GeminiCLI.com and then run the provided npm install command over here. Keep in mind that you will need to have Node.js installed on your computer, so if you don't have one, you can go to Node.js.org and install it first. After that, copy the command and then open up your terminal or command line and then just paste in the npm install command within that terminal. Press enter to run it and once the installation is completed, you can then start up the CLI by running the Gemini command. If this is your first time, you need to authenticate it with your Google account which you can do completely for free. But now, you can easily start working with the new upgraded Gemini CLI and if you type slash and then there is this extensions list command and this is where you're going to be able to manage and list out all the different extensions you have. Currently, we don't have any because we haven't installed one yet. You can see that you have the ability to access Gemini 2.5 Pro, but you can also see there is a lot of new comments that they have added, and this is essentially going to help you work with the CLI a bit better with different tools, plugins, and features that can enhance your ability to use the CLI. Okay, let's actually go ahead and install one extension to show what you can do with it. First, exit the CLI, and then back in the extensions page, let's look for one interesting extension that we can try out. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Um, for example, let's use the Chrome DevTools MCP. Uh, you can simply click the copy button over here for the install command, and then back in the terminal, paste the command, and then press enter to run it. When asked do you want to continue, just type Y for yes. After the installation is completed, you can use the Chrome DevTools MCP to let the coding agent debug web pages directly in Chrome, as well as using the DevTools debugging capabilities and performance insights. I will cover the DevTools more in the next video, but basically this MCP will help you develop apps faster. When we run the extensions command again, we can see that it lists all the active extensions we have, which is only the DevTools MCP. So the Chrome DevTools MCP is now active, and if you want to look at all available tools, you can press Ctrl plus T, and it will give you a list of tools available on the CLI. Scroll up a bit here, and here are the tools given by Chrome DevTools. There are many tools available such as click, close page, navigate page, upload file, and so on. Just for example, uh, let's ask Gemini CLI to use Chrome DevTool to open the goodreads.com web page. Press enter and let it process the request. And here, Gemini CLI asks us for permission to run the navigate page tool. You can choose to allow once, always allow the tool, or allow all tools from the MCP. I will just allow once here. And after a while, a Chrome window will be open and it will navigate to the website we have requested. You can see over here it says Chrome is being controlled by automated task software, uh, so I didn't open this window manually. But overall, that's all for today's video. The new Gemini CLI extensions really take things to the next level. It allows you to bring your favorite tools straight into your workflow, all inside a terminal. It's fast, flexible, and feels like a big step toward a truly integrated developer environment powered by Gemini. I'm honestly excited to use it more on my own projects. If you haven't tried it yet, go ahead and install the CLI, play around with a few extensions, and see how much it can improve your workflow. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you build profitable apps and projects using AI and other tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!